Hi, today we're going to be making a repair on um, the USB ports on the case of this computer. Um, quite commonly from USB sticks and um, knocking whatever's plugged into these ports on the case, uh, they can get damaged as you can see. So um, what we're going to do today, uh, I've, I've got an old motherboard here, we're going to remove um, this set of USB, we're going to remove this USB ports from here, so we're going to desolder, at the bottom there are 8 pins for the USBs themselves, plus 4 mounting pins for the, for the USB, so we'll remove this from the motherboard, behind here there'll be another a uh, small circuit board, resolder it in there, and uh, that should be good to go. So, if you remove your two side panels of your case, there should be a couple of screws along the inside here, and you should be able to remove the front panel of the of your of your case. Um, there are some cables connected from your power switches and from the USB and from your audio running to your motherboard so um, disconnect those first so that um, when you take off the front panel they don't pull and uh, possibly cause those da damage to those uh, other cables okay. we start by unplugging the let's unplug the cables going to the front panel we've got some audio speaker you've got your your cables for your on off Reset and for your these are the cables for the USB those USBs themselves And you've got your cables for your on off for your reset and for your Your LEDs your power LED and your HDD LED Once you've removed all those cables Remove all the screws from the inside here. Yeah? You should be able to Just pull off Okay, okay, so now that we've got the, the front panel removed, this is the board that we're going to be taking out, and this will be replacing this, uh, this USB ports here. Okay, so on the bottom here, it's the same thing. You're going to unsolder the the eight pins plus the four mounting points. And place it from the from the one we're going to remove from the motherboard. So I find that when removing solder from the old um, from the old pins here, use some solder wick. Okay, it's just some copper. We call it solder wick, okay? Put a solder flux on here. This will help you to remove the uh, the the old solder easily. Okay. Once you removed all the solder, you should then be able to take out the the old ports without uh, anything being damaged. Okay. Okay, so we've got the ports out. We're going to replace them on the board. Okay, so obviously you're going to make sure after you've done your soldering that um, uh, there's nothing making, there's no, nothing shorting out, everything's clear between your contacts. Okay, so there you go, we've got a new set of USB ports on there. And uh, all we need to do is just put it back together.
So, there you go. Two brand new USB ports on the front of your case. And, uh, connect up all the, all the cables and uh, plug in a USB flash drive or something and give it a good uh, test. Remember, there's always a fix. Thanks for watching.